All right, last thing we want to do is copy and paste into a report because you're going to need to do that for your report. So remember on this we want to do Oh, come to the top right, click on the arrow, and we want to save image. And we wait to see it pop up here, click on it, and it should open it for us, Windows Photo Viewer, and here we'll just say copy. And that gives us a copy that we can go into our, if you want to go into Word document, you can paste it in there, or if you want to go into a Google Sheets we or Google Docs, we can go here and open Google Docs, create a document, and at this point I'll just do Control V, maybe, paste, it doesn't like it. It's coming back to my Standard deviation, this one's old, huh? okay, not the right one. There it is. So here we go. Come back to here. Copy chart. If you want to stay in Google Docs and use Google Docs, then you need to use copy chart. So uh, where did it go? Untitled document, there we are. And here we can just do Control V to paste. And there's my histogram. If I click on it, then I can use the left arrow and say um, histogram and push enter and then right arrow one and then push enter again and then I will say um, formulas view And then I'm going to come to the start again, and I would like to show the numbers view first. And so I'll just put it in first, and then the formulas view right after. So I'm just selecting my data. Right click to do copy. Go into my untitled document still after numbers view. So I move my cursor there and then control V and it should show me my spreadsheet. I can come in front of numbers view and I want to put in a page break and so that's right down here. I can also it looks like use control enter so I'll do that. That'll start it on the top of a page. It looks a little better that way and then the formulas view I'll go back to my data set it's already selected, so I can just do control tilde. Remember that's right to the left of the, um, right above the tab to the left of the number one. Just control plus that key. And then I'm double checking all my formulas to make sure they fit into the area. This is the only one that doesn't, but it's split nicely, so I kind of like how that looks. So I'll just look at that real quick. It looks fine. Control C one more time to copy, go into the document, Control V to paste, and there it is with all of my um, data showing with the formulas. That's nice. And again, come to the start of formulas view and do insert page break and have that start at the top of a page. So there I have, let's go back and recap real quick. Here I have the histogram followed by on the top of the next page, the numbers view of my data. And you can see at the bottom where I have my standard deviation in the by hand method and the by Google method. I have the mean by hand and by Google. I have the median, the mode and the range and then in addition I have my formulas view which is showing me the functions that I used in Excel and you can see them on the right here with the squares and then down here for the sums and then in all the other functions and little calculations that I did 
the square root, standard deviation, the average, all of those showing up where they should be, median mode, and then the max minus min for the range. So I have all of that into my Google Doc now. Remember, you can um, title it. So I'm going to say this will be my mini project to prep for unit two project. Okay, and then remember, it's so super easy in Google Docs. So come to file, stay on file, and then email as attachment, and it's popping it right into my message as an attachment. So I just would type in the email address that I need to send this file to. It already has a subject line for me, and then here it is and then off you send it and it's ready to go to Mrs. Brown.